and welcome to Saving People, Queering Things, the supernatural podcast where Eric Kripke gets hunted for sports. <laughs> Today, join us all as we explore Season 6, Episode 15, The French Mistake, through the theme of knowledge. I'm your host, Noah, pronouns he, him. I'm Sam, my pronouns are she, they. I'm August, my pronouns are they, them. I'm Elena, pronouns she, they. <laughs> And I'm Jamie from Driver Picks the Podcast, pronouns she, her. And I'm Beth from Raising Perdition and Raising Winchesters, and my pronouns are she, her. And I'm KJ from Supernatural Opinions, and my pronouns are she, they. And I'm Sarah from Raising Winchesters, and my pronouns are they, she. We got a stacked crew today. I mean, yeah. this You're is all just... back. <laughs> <laughs> With regrets from a couple of the members of the pod squad that were not able to make it today, but whom we love very much. Beth and Hannah both send their regards. Yes. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> That's just really yeah, it was funny. Like, well, that that it sounds like they died or something. Like... <laughs> <laughs> I can't get yeah. first without thinking of the Red Wedding, so that was just the wrong. <laughs> the Red Wedding? Oh, my God. Why, how did you pull a Game of Thrones reference out of that? When you what? guys were like, it's a stacked cast, I was like, how about this the pod squad, actually? The last yeah. person sent their regards? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh also abby joe so wishes that mm. she could join but she's yeah. just never gonna catch up yeah. <laughs> we have to do an episode that's somehow not spoilery yeah that abby we joe can join we'll do just a look back at some point so. or we'll just I'll be like we have y'all. to do it on your show we'll just be like there we, we have to do it on your show <laughs> jamie it's... and i will come over to y'all's and we'll have like a whole <laughs> i'll mm-hmm. i'll even edit that one episode for y'all that would be so nice. I was gonna say that that's the that's the kicker. Us, so Abby Joe can safely come on with us anytime now. Uh, yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> so it just has to happen on one of the two shows that <laughs> is not trucking through the gamble era right now. Yeah. It's always remarkable to me whenever I'm not the newest supernatural like podcaster <laughs> on, on on the you know like it's all it's always remarkable when it's like oh I'm not like I'm not the furthest behind like I've seen more than other people like what do you mean I've seen right. more. Yeah, because you guys are a few episodes ahead at this point, right? Where are you guys at? Yeah, so we're we're actually we've just watched six twenty one, so we've got only the season finale to go. Yeah, Yeah. wow. Okay, wow. That's fine. That's Mm -hmm. fine. We'll catch up at some point, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. We're Uh, we're thinking the plan is we're planning on catching up around the end of season seven, so we can do Gambit Hill recap like we did for Crypt Gear. Yeah. If you haven't listened to it already, go back and check out Jamie and I's bonus episodes on both saving people queering things and driver picks the podcast it's full of chaos gremlin energy i i don't know what happened in those like no joke like the chaos just come up and like i blacked out for a little bit and then i listened to a back later and <laughs> the I was predictions like, it was bad it was a good time the though. general it was dis- fun. yeah yeah i remember having fun <laughs> it was great it was it was like just leaving the children unsupervised yeah especially the one so on the building we didn't get a sudden reveal that episode though you know Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. <laughs> well, anyway, today's question that I have for my co-hosts is if you woke up one day and you were in a TV show about your life, who who would play you or how would you feel about that? You can answer either <laughs> either one of those questions. So, so are we like trying to like fan cast our own lives? Like, <laughs> I, think, I think so. Because I think clearly the answer for me is Dwayne The Rock Johnson, obviously. Fuck uh, yes. Jamie, there so many similarities. Go. There we it's go. The ener- <laughs> you know, it's the energy there, right? You know, like, I want specifically what... like 1990 something Jensen Ackles to play me. <laughs> oh, okay. Yep. I, I yeah. would like to be played by Reese Darby. Thank you. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Good options. Oh, I, I had a I had a, a bad, a bad I thought that I don't. Uh-oh. I, I think that's embarrassing. Legally, you have I think to that do it. Do it. Do it. Because I was like, I had way too much gender envy about this mm-hmm. stupid. Oh my god, I know who it is. <laughs> say it. Say it, Sam. <laughs> Sam needs to say it we'll because be I can't expose that. Case. I want to see if Sam got it right now. Actually, yeah. So I want to see if Sam can figure out what I'm talking about. And if you're not right, well, then now I'm worried that I'm wrong. Well, <laughs> even if you're wrong, it's funny. Otherwise, anyway. <laughs> For the siblings in the chat, maybe it's who plays your sibling and who plays you. So, you know, maybe it's a, a both. A both. I don't want to ever know. Sam, you got to say it now. Oh, Will we ever it's find really out? Embarrassing, I'm on the edge of my podcast. seat right now. Yeah, Join us next is killing me. I need to know. What if we all look away? <laughs> yeah, we'll, we all turn, well, our, we camera all turn our cameras off. We'll <laughs> but pretend we're not here. <laughs> oh, no. No, don't do that. That's worse. <laughs> Oh my god. 
there's a lot of really fun visual gags that are happening that the audience really won't get. And I'm, I'm sorry for all of you. <laughs> what if you say it at the same time? Oh, yeah. Three, two, okay, is he gonna do it one. No, she's not going to do it. Son of a bitch. <laughs> swear to God. Okay, well, Type I, it in the chat. I, wait, yeah. send it specifically to one person that isn't August. Have <sighs> August say it there and then go. see if there they're go. right. There you go. That's a win right there. Sam, do you Compromise. trust me? <laughs> I, we have to know. I'm going to go with very specifically the energy that Cole Sprouse brought Ooh. to Riverdale. <laughs> Very specifically. I knew that that was what it was going to be. I should have just said it. Oh, my God. I didn't <laughs> expect that. Didn't see that coming. I hate no, it. I hate, and I hate And I do hate it. That is I such an iconic like, choice, though. I, I want to make it really know. Know. That's the problem. I knew exactly who you met, August. Like, uh, yeah. You said gender envy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because KJ and I have had many conversations about about this in the context of Riverdale. But now, Sam, I do need to know what you, who you were thinking. I uh-huh. will just say though, August, you are wearing a hat so you can do the whole, like, I'm a weirdo speech I'm a weirdo. and it works. <laughs> I don't fit in. I don't you are the only fit one in. of us wearing a hat, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, you are. Sort of don't fit in. <laughs> in a good way. Noah, who are you going to have play you? I would have to pick, uh, fuck. Pedro Pascal is an ambitious one Ooh. that I would love to put out there. A wow. young Pedro Pascal playing you, A young you Pedro know? Pascal with the okay. mustache, though, because he needs it. Fuck that's, yeah. You know, that's shooting high. I, oh, we're shooting I'm high. Shoot high. Pick yeah. Emily Deschanel. Um. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's mm-hmm. very cute. I like it. I feel like she played, like, Pembroke's Brennan for 12 years. I feel like she could capture my, like, awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I see it. I see it. I, I stand by my restarting. <laughs> I love that me and August just went gender envy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the mm-hmm. only criteria that I put into it. The only thought. And that's valid of you. Oh, shit. Who plays um Jim in Our Flying Means Death? Oh, we go over to Yeah. That would, that would yeah. slap. Oh. I'm not going to yeah. lie. Yeah, that'd be a good I'd choice. I'd like that one. Sam, what would you, what, who would you play? How, who would you have play you? I honestly have no idea. I'm trying to like, like now or when I was younger. Either. That's up to you. Which which has a be- a better story? Or in the future. <laughs> no wrong answer here. I don't. I'm We're like on so only. many faces are like flying through my there. brain, and I can't <laughs> choose one. One funny thing, well, though, was that I I did ask this question of my my friend that's my roommate now, like years ago, like many years ago, and he was like, you know, who would play like me in an Elena movie? And at the time, it was a uh, pre transition Elliot Page. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really delighted oh. by the plot development there. Hell yeah! <laughs> wow, I was like, yep. <laughs> you know, we, we should have gotten Jay on this episode. This would have been a fun one for him to jump in on. <laughs> Please welcome to jump on. Beth, did you choose? No, because I have no idea who would be. <laughs> <laughs> I have it's suddenly hard. forgotten every actress who's ever existed. Um, <laughs> so I can tell you my reaction, though, of me discovering that my life as a TV show would be okay. really, really similar to Dean's. Being like, who on earth would want to watch my life? <laughs> yeah. My Dean coding would definitely like pop out in that one. Yeah, it would be a shock. <laughs> Fun browse fact. <laughs> there was I know a this point fact. in my life <laughs> when <laughs> my mom got contacted by I think NBC and asked her if she wanted to move all of our extended family into one giant house and do a reality TV show about us. Interesting. That's crazy. I mean, you were almost. <laughs> you were almost. The Duggars, almost. Oh God, what? don't you don't like, put that out there. Don't put that. Out there. You were like two steps away from being one of the, that. that. But, oh but my you were God. that relative. That's, that's the I think that's the meanest thing you've ever in. said to me. I'm sorry. I think I I like, like, you're wrong. Like, no, I mean that in the sense that you were in that. That would. That's the category you were being cast. That is exactly it, though. I that do not mean fairness. that you have similarities to them. I, I just mean compared that you... my family to the Duggars. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. I said that's if your gracious. family, I no, no, no. That's not what I said. What I said was if your family got a reality TV show, it's because of the, that genre. 
yeah, that's the category no, that they're casting a family with as many children. Absolutely <laughs> fair. Unfortunately, I'm not I saying hear it's you. good. I hear you. This is one of the funniest conversations that I've been a part of in a while, and I'm Way so glad I got to them. witness it. Honestly, <laughs> knowing I, know I think we should just ignore like, and like part of the Kardashians, like <laughs> pretend like that's that's Jamie. I think that's the meanest thing you've ever said to me. <laughs> because I'm mean all the time I know I know I think the funniest part is I know like this much about Noah don't even (laughs) right (laughs) what are you about to say next what's your next sentence that was it (laughs) <laughs> and, the, and you're getting and you're getting compared to the Duggars and oh, the Kardashians. Sarah's learning a lot. No. Is what oh, I'm saying. No. I, oh my god! I'm not getting a good impression here, Noah. I'm wearing a crop top. Does that help? <laughs> yeah, yes, it does. <laughs> I'm saying you know you That's would never be cast. Out. No, okay, no, okay. you would you would never be cast that now. <laughs> oh, Have god, you seen no. you and any of your siblings? Like. Shout out actually, the like, reality that's... TV show now that like ninety percent of you are queer would actually be really fun. It would be so much better as long as my uh, biological grandfather is not included on my mother's side. Oh, cool. Can we but can make he, that happen. He was the whole reason that she said no. She was like, "Oh wait, he would have to live with us? No, thanks. No, <laughs> handle that." <laughs> goodness your mother had enough self-preservation to Mm -hmm. be like this would be a bad idea (laughs) saved our lives the main thing that's separating you from like that hellscape (laughs) yeah (laughs) well now that you've met all of your hosts for today maybe a little bit more than you wanted to it's time to catch you up if you haven't watched supernatural recently here's what you've missed on the road so far today we're gonna do it a little differently we're gonna have two people do each recap Uh, They're going to do like the first 15 seconds, the first person will do, and then the second person will pick up where they left off and do the other 15 seconds. So it's this is a tandem sort of situation here. I like it. First up, Elena and Jamie are going to recap the show up to this point using 15 seconds each. Are you all ready? What I will do is I will pause it when it hits the 15 because then Noah can cut out any like gap time. And the rest of us will all yell, stop, 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 stop. (laughs) (laughs) you see us all waving frantically you know your time's up stop talking they're gonna pick it up all right okay three two one elena go so sam and dieter brothers and they fight monsters and they have a lot of daddy issues it's really rough um and then one of them dies and then the other one gives a soul for the other one to not die and then that one dies and then they all come back at some point then there's a gay angel that shows up and it gets really sexually frustrating for several people stop 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 okay I was okay. the only person yelling stop there. I was I, watching. I, just, I, I forgot the cue. Controlling the timer. That's okay. I didn't, see how that's I didn't okay. realize stop. that that was like we were actually going to do you that. Right? I thought that would to. be an editing I've... nightmare. <laughs> Sarah was trying to make it easier on, on that's Noah. Fair. The editor. That's fair. <laughs> Noah's like, no. And so since no. I did this stop, 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 KJ, you have to do the next stop. Oh, God. During the Sarah Beth one. So it's okay. okay. You're good now. We're all involved. Remind in me again when we get there. <laughs> <laughs> okay jamie i'm gonna count you in you got 15 seconds left on the clock mm-hmm. three two one go okay so we've got the gay angel and dean the main character that's really frustrating and gay for a lot of people and then a different gay angel kind of half convinces them to play the roles but not Dean. and then a different brother who appears out of nowhere ends up taking michael as a vessel and then you've got lucifer and then they get blown into hell by a swift wind and they're in season <laughs> Bam, you nailed it. <laughs> Elena, Incredible. I see you. I see you. Incredible. <laughs> I, I I had a plan for season six and I didn't quite have enough time to do that. That's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I think that was beautiful. Such a good combination. It was our power duo. Next up, we've got Sarah and Beth to recap this week's episode, The French Mistake, 15 seconds each. Did we decide who's going first? Sarah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we did. Heard. Message received. Sarah. <laughs> I'm going to count you in. <laughs> Three, two. Sorry, wait, sorry. KJ, this is your stop, stop, stop. <clears throat> yeah, okay. um, I feel like I just got edged. I'm sweating. <laughs> no. Okay. Sarah, for real this time. Three, two. August, are you ready to start the countdown? Okay. okay. Yes. I, my finger is on. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, <laughs> one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Three, two, one, go. 
Okay, Bathazar is uh shows up and shoves them through a window. Uh we don't know why, but then we're on a movie set or a TV set and then they're confused. They don't know what to do if they should be shooting things or running. Uh they decide to just kind of stand there and look like idiots. They're on a movie stop, set. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> You did not get very far. I did not. I got so I got so, so taken aback by like the four false starts. <laughs> no, you have to leave all the false starts in there. I know those that. are gonna be so <laughs> funny though. <laughs> it's Sarah's like fault for six saying hours edging. long. This is gonna be ridiculous. You, you threw out edging in there, and I, you can't just do that once. You've got to finish it. <laughs> <And then> you- <laughs> False no, start. I was like, I gotta I put so much pressure on me to like. I'm like, am I gonna be done laughing in 15 seconds when Sarah's <laughs> done laughing? <laughs> And then it was really funny because, like, the way that, like, I, my screen is arranged, like, as you were saying the no, 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 I was looking at August and August was going like this. And so it was like I was watching a bad dub of, like, <laughs> somebody else's voice and someone else's actions. Oh, it God. was fantastic. The real question is, why are you watching dubs, not subs? Anyway, okay, Beth, it's <laughs> up to you to do the rest of the episode. Oh, no big I deal. I believe in you, Beth. <laughs> You've got 37 <laughs> minutes left to recap. Three, two, one. Oh. Jen- Dean uh, prays to Cass. It's not Cass. It's fake Misha. Then Jensen is offended. They go to fake Jensen's trailer. They go to fake Jared's house. Uh, Ru- Ruby, fake Ruby's there. And then they get the, the stuff back. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Considering how awful I did, I'm so proud of you, Beth. <laughs> I think and that was and really good. Like, cool. about calling them like fake Misha and fake Jensen is just so funny. <laughs> I feel like it was like, imperative that we get fake them in there. At least <laughs> I really, my plan with my 15 seconds was actors playing characters, playing actors, playing characters. I did not get that out. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, it'll, it'll get there somewhere, somewhere else in this discussion. It's getting shoved in this. <laughs> oh, good, good. That was maybe my favorite recap that we've ever done. <laughs> yeah. I, think, I think I'm a big fan of the splitting it when we have this many people of like splitting it in half and making people share it. It's, it's great. Maybe it's just because I'm the okay, host. Look, me and Elena, like time. teamwork I makes the dream work. We really got there in the yeah, end. We really did. We took it all the way, man. And then I felt it. We really... season six, but that's okay. Beth yeah. was a really good anchor. <laughs> <laughs> But at least like another five really episodes good. when anything <laughs> happens in season six anyway, so it's fine. Exactly. So now that you're all caught up on everything up to this point, it's time for us to pick some music to accompany us on our journey. So here's what we have for this week's episode mixtape. Sarah, would you like to go first because I fucked up your recap? <laughs> <laughs> Put you on the spot again <laughs> immediately. Fantastic. <laughs> and since I almost always forget when I get onto these Zoom calls that I was supposed to pick a song, this is the song that popped into my head, and it is the song Backwards by Rascal Flats. Ooh. Solid. Solid. Okay. okay. So hey, I well. like it. I would like to cheat my way through mine if that's okay. Mm. Did you not watch the recaps? <laughs> I would like <laughs> I would like to pick the song French Mistake from the soundtrack of Blazing Saddles, the <laughs> title of this episode. Well, you know what? That works. We'll, we'll accept it. We'll allow it. <laughs> the court will allow it to proceed. I'm going to suggest the song Video Killed the Radio Star by The Buggles. Just oh, because I feel like you can add it under oh, any single okay. scene in this episode and it would work. Yeah. So that's a good yeah. pick, Jamie. Yeah. That's a good good on-brand meta kind of pick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We love a meta pick. I got one. Hit it. Uh, mine is Take Me Back by Lewis Thompson. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. And the lyrics are, take me back, take me back, because I never knew what I had. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Yep, that's right. Yeah. My pick that I had to go with for this episode was Be Who You Are by John Baptiste, <laughs> featuring the one and only John Bellion. And it just felt pretty ironic with the whole way that the boys are, you know, trying to be who they're not. Looking at this list of like songs, though, it's just making me think like one of these things is not like the other. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hey, don't call KJ out like that. It's fine. I knew it. I knew it was a cheater choice when I picked it, but I committed to it. <laughs> well, if someone's got it, someone had to say it. Someone, someone had, to, had to. And we appreciate you falling on your own petard like that. Anyway, <laughs> and that's where the metaphor goes. That's not. You just like fixed metaphors, so <laughs> and that's what we're all about, clearly, with the you know, the whole vibe going on here today. So 
little good will burn that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> <laughs> now that we've got our mixtape playing, it's time for this week's hunt. Today we're pulling up to Season 6, Episode 15, The French Mistake, through the theme of knowledge. It's very cute that y'all assigned a theme to this episode and then invited all of these people. Yeah, yeah no, I'm mean, not going to really, lie. If the theme does not happen all that much this week, that's okay, because we're going to be putting out a special little bonus episode. Yeah. Also talking more about this episode, because we realized we wouldn't fit it all, so... Not a single one of my notes mentions theme. the word knowledge in it, so I'm sorry. Were we informed that this was through the lens of knowledge? <laughs> that's no, a great no, question. that's our bad. That's our bad. Yeah, I personally, no. I was like, I didn't know. So. <laughs> now, going forward. That's, I had no knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> we not have no knowledge. That's how the theme is fitting, because we had no knowledge of it. And so, please shoehorn the theme in and pretend that you knew all along so that we don't look like bad podcasters. Today we're pulling up to season six, episode 15, The French Mistake, with all of us. Through no theme at all. No theme, no theme. And that's it. We're fine. <laughs> we'll do the theme for our bonus one. Stay tuned yeah, for the go. themed bonus episode coming later this week. It's fine. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Everyone, share thoughts. First reactions. Oh, uh, sorry. It's maybe not a thing over here, but me and Beth have theorized about this thing called the Sarah Gamble Long Con, which is basically where Sarah Gamble was really, really heavily campaigning for angels. But when she got Misha Collins as Castiel, she decided she didn't want that sort of angels. So then Mm -hmm. she inspired to kill Eric Kripke to take over his show. So watching this episode for the first time where she literally metatextually kills off both Misha and Eric Kripke and Robert Singer was a Mm -hmm. little bit insane. Yeah. That is just so a, funny. A, yeah. little bit, a little bit funny that she managed to meditatively write in a joke that I would make for another eight years. It really gives you so much more ammunition for the next year. Mm-hmm. To also be fair, Kripke is one of the writers on this episode. Yeah. <laughs> I think he only gets a residual writing credit, though, because he created the show. No, this was one he actually this is did one he write. actually did write. Was he still writing at this point? Uh, yes, yeah. that was actually so right to the, the end of season six. The thing I was going to say was that I got to watch this one like as it live as it aired. And it was <laughs> truly bonkers because Misha actually tweeted the things that he tweeted. Let me pull up the that tweets. Was one of my Didn't questions. That's, that's incredible. Did, did, Noah, did you know this? It as it happened. I don't think I did. I don't remember it, if nothing else. But I was ready. I was it was one of my notes that I was like, did Misha actually tweet this? Because first of all, <laughs> I actually did at the exact the moment. All of Misha yeah. Migos. I have J2 seen this tweet got me good. so many times. Why so does he times. spell Ola that way? <laughs> Why does he spell not it that way? Southern. I, I think that's the key. <laughs> he's, he's trying he to make, no. He's oh, we're trying to make a character count. That was the olden days of Twitter when we were limited Maybe. in characters. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. What gets me though is, from what I know, from what Beth had told me, is basically when they pitched this episode to the actors and, like, let them know what the concept was, Misha said, can you let me be an absolute dickhead? Can you let me be, like, the most, like, up myself actor, like, so rude, so dismissive? Like, can you let me be, like, an absolute dickhead? And they went, no, we're not doing that. And they basically wrote him, like, as a normal human being. But he was like, I still want to bring that energy, which is why he still comes off as kind of, like, rude and dismissive, but also... It's just so desperately sad. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's like very pathetic, Misha. Yeah. Like, it's like so look, pathetic. His little sweater and his namaste shirt, like, sweetie. <laughs> it's it's a weird mix of, like, they try... It is, like, it is like someone who doesn't like Misha very much tried to write a caricature of Misha. Mm. I feel like <laughs> and then we're like, now Misha. pretend to be that. Who did that? Like he he like Misha a lot was of writing that. fan fiction about himself in that moment. And then his agent was like, I watched this. It was definitely you. And he was like, You're fired. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, thank you. <laughs> you don't know who I am at all, actually. <laughs> He's like, I'm not I'm not awful. <laughs> like, what do you mean? It's so silly. It's so silly. Everything about this episode is so silly. It yeah, I enjoy how it just throws you in. Really? Oh yeah. They didn't say we're gonna go and put them in this alternate universe and we're gonna make sure we get our money's worth. Like we're not doing this for 20 minutes of the episode. Like we're gonna spend 40 of the 42 minutes in this mm-hmm. alternate world. It was yeah. literally Balthazar shows up and is like, here's a bunch of exposition. I'm throwing it all at you and then throwing <laughs> you out this window. Have literally. Fun. Yeah. That's all I got to in my 15 seconds. Yeah, thanks. 
Also, the other thing is that's also Balthazar just fully acting because yeah. like right. at the end of the episode, it's revealed that like they didn't even have the actual key. Like none of this was actually real. This was literally just to use them as bait, essentially. Yeah. The multiverse, the mo- the, the, the supernatural supernatural, they're like, they're like, we're gonna create this whole, we're gonna confirm the existence of a multiverse just so we can like fuck around a little bit. Yeah, just so we can for for the right. walls. Just so we can create a really <laughs> elaborate diversion. Really and big just prank. make fun of Jensen and Jared <laughs> and Eric yeah. and yeah. Bob and literally everyone. And, yeah. then, and they just, they lean so far into it because it's like, you know, who would want to watch a show about our lives? And he's like, apparently not many people do. Like, he's just <laughs> and then the making fun of the wild. fans. They love Ooh. making fun of the fans. They do. <laughs> they do. Yeah. Because we are all here as Supernatural podcasters four years after the show ended. Almost yes, in four the years. year 2024. <laughs> We're still talking about this show. Crazy. This was in 2015. Yeah, this right? episode aired 2011. 13 years 2011. ago. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, this episode aired in 2011. Oh my god. Jesus. Yeah, I feel wow. like we need to get a big yikes in there somewhere about that. Mm. Yeah. Well, and the, even the Sarah, like the Sarah Gamble phone call mm-hmm. with um Singer is so funny because it's that whole like we oh you know like the, the whole like we're not they don't they're not really gonna listen to you like we better call Garrett Kripke like <laughs> oh, like and they're like you're kind of new but like you're she's been writing new. for the show since season two <laughs> <laughs> they're like yeah Jared and Jensen the assholes won't listen to you <laughs> so we gotta call Eric Kripke to come and like give them a talking to and then they immediately kill Kripke like the author is dead yeah, the, like, the levels to which this episode takes death of the author are astounding, <laughs> and I love it. Death of the author, an angel shot him in the street. Like, <laughs> it was so shady of them to be like, I don't think that the guys know who you are, Sarah. When Sarah Gamble's been here, like since like season one, that's what I'm saying. Right. Like she's been around this whole time. Yeah, I really loved Jensen's face whenever he found out that he was from Texas, and he did a. <laughs> it was like. Okay. Wild. It's like I'm a Midwest boy. Like, <laughs> you know, Texas. He's like Texas. Oh god. And then they showed fucking days of our lives. Just <laughs> the days of our lives. <laughs> the, ro- the roasting of him that happens in oh, this moment. Okay, so hear me good. out. They should have shown some Gilmore Girls clubs. They okay. should have. They should have. <laughs> they missed their they opportunity. Kind of vaguely done that back in Hollywood Babylon, though. They did. Mm-hmm. Yes, they did. No, I, I would like to have seen a, a Dean Forrester club. I'm just. <laughs> I love how they kind of frame Jensen and Jared, how they were originally supposed to be framed in how like Sam was supposed to be the main character and Dean was supposed to kind of be like a little bit back further. So like you could see that Sam is more successful and Dean's just a little bit. Well, Jared's more successful and Jensen's Jensen's just a little bit. That's true. Which is wild. Um, I kind of don't take Jensen as seriously within the context (laughs) of this universe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here's the thing though, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna propose a headcanon for you guys to either accept or reject. It's not that Jared's more successful in this universe than Jensen. It's that Jen is the most <laughs> successful of yeah. the three. Yeah. Okay. And so this is actually okay. her Maybe. house and her money. Yep. Yes. Like, Fair. Head yeah. Headcanon accepted. Yeah. Immediately. Absolutely. Yeah, honestly. Jen did so well. Like every scene oh, that she was yeah. in, I was like, she's killing she's it. Stole bringing, it. She's she's bringing her back. Animal. What bringing kind of... her back for this is just was just like such a good like of all the people to bring yeah. back. Bringing like her was, back, was, putting their right. actual wedding picture yes. in there. Iconic. Yeah. <laughs> like imagine that conversation going to going to Jared and Jen and being like, hey. So because of the premise of this episode, it would be really great if we could like take some real wedding pictures and put them <laughs> in this episode. And yeah, putting okay. it okay. on the that. same mantle as the alpaca. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I put that in my notes. <laughs> and then I, you've got like the pop art of Jen mm-hmm. and Jared <laughs> and the, the cowboy one. Yes. Yep. And the Jared, 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 Jared has. has. That yeah. cowboy one though I had, had this art. prophecy. They predicted Walker, Texas Ranger years yeah. before it even happened. <laughs> I think mean, I know that like Jared and Jen have like a little like host of farm animals like they have chickens and like yeah. other but also like they're like actual like real life house it's like not a big mansion like that but it is way cuter like it, their architectural digest video is so it's like, so cute, cute. It's like, beautiful mm-hmm. house okay, okay. <laughs> it's so yeah. cozy yeah they mm-hmm. have a much cozier house this did not feel cozy well because even though jen is like not as much of a caricature she's still a caricature like she's still yeah. 
like uh, playing this kind of role oh, yeah. and it's so funny to see like when mm. you know what Jen is like kind of like in her public persona in general she's a lot softer she's a lot less like dramatic and this this Jen's fake ruby is like super mm-hmm. dramatic and like clearly their relationship is very very odd it's something <laughs> it's something they are married they are. yeah <laughs> and she doesn't doubt him whenever he's like acting so weird for the first yeah. time like, Gen- Genevieve. Gen- Genevieve. <laughs> they don't know each other at all in, in this universe which yeah. is so funny okay. like, yeah, the way she's just it's like, so, Jen. It's so sad to me, though, that she's going to have to, like, check the credit card statements and be like, he spent $100,000 oh on what? <laughs> like, okay. Where are real Jensen and Jared? Yeah, that's that one thing that they don't fantastic answer throughout question. this whole thing. Do they <laughs> Who swap? Them? Did someone show Did they them? just, like, inhabit their souls? <laughs> Ooh, were they? <laughs> like, <laughs> their souls just get, like, shoved in? <laughs> just, like, wake up and be like, I don't remember the last two days. <laughs> Right. And everyone's That's treating me really weird. A marvelous thing. Yelling at me about these credit cards. <laughs> they have messages and it's like, you quit. <laughs> you did what it's like, now? No, you quit and you maxed out our credit cards. <laughs> like, yeah. I kind of feel like it's Jensen's. just like a pocket universe. Like everything stopped. Like they just got thrown into it, you know? Like, <laughs> well, it's like a video yeah. game when the main right. characters aren't there, it, like stops buffering in. Well, right. Okay, so this yeah. brings up actually a really big question because, like, Virgil, when he shows up, he says all this stuff about, like, this earth like earth two which what dean called it is like earth with no magic and like no like when you die you just like my big question is like is this a true multiverse reveal or is it yeah like more of a pocket or is it more similar to like changing channels where it's like they've created this little fake place for them it feels like the changing channels to me like that's at least how i've always seen it but yeah that's also how i've seen it i feel differently yeah me too only reason I wouldn't agree with that is just the fact that, like, the magic doesn't really seem to be working in there. Yeah. Like, I feel yeah, like yeah. if it was not, like, genuinely a different, like, whether it's a full separate universe or, like, a little pocket universe, I feel like if it was, like, if it was kind of, like, changing channels where it's, like, Gabe just made that pocket within, like, the universe they're currently in, then I feel like, yeah. There's no magic, and that's confirmed by the fact that, like, Virgil has to actually have a gun and shit, and yeah. not just... Yeah, the fact that Virgil people. can't get in and out, and, like, can't use magic is what makes me think it's different, uh, versus, yeah. like... Deep right, they don't seem Angel to be... feels pretty powerful. Like, that's completely yeah. different physics laws, you know? Yeah. yeah. Like, even Gabriel didn't, de- like, depower chaos he just like made him yeah. disappear right he yeah. could get him out of the universe fake universe but he couldn't like reduce his power while he was there because it's still an angel and you'd assume that like Raphael get, well you'd assume that Raphael like vir- like power levels wise are, yeah. are similar to like Cass because Raphael's an archangel so like yeah. you'd assume yeah. that he He's would at have least as powerful power yeah so, and at this point like at know, least before Cass gets all his god weapons mm-hmm. and also the other thing is they're shoved in by balthazar who's not an archangel yeah yeah yeah, yeah. balthazar is just a regular ass angel so mm-hmm. for him to have enough power to create a, a space and then also reduce like actual archangels powers in that space seems unlikely to me yeah because gabriel is an archangel right he's yeah, yeah. so never mind zachariah does the other one but even Zachariah, like, it's very much canonical that it's not a separate universe. It's the same universe, yeah. just with a different colored filter over it. Exactly. Yeah. It's the same <laughs> same building, real real uh, ghost, real everything, except, you know, them. And they mm-hmm. even find the ghost facers in that episode. So it's like, mm-hmm. there's definitely the still some yeah. shit going on there. So I think Raphael yeah. being able to shuffle them over to the next world over, Earth 2 or Earth 7, D5, whatever is a little bit more realistic for his power set. Mm. I say realistic. This is all a fake show. That's all. <laughs> you know, okay, this is where we spend the next 40 minutes going through methodically every single point by point piece of evidence we have to support each possible theory and try to work out the science behind reality shifting within supernatural. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm. Um, I mean, this was meant to be through the lens of knowledge. So this is the lore. <laughs> this, this is the, the lore, lore section, which is just this whole episode. The meta and the lore are just this whole episode. Um, the line early on that just made me laugh really hard is when Jen says 
to Sam says, you have been Sam Winchester way too long. And I was like, yeah. it's season six. <laughs> it's like, season I, six. I, know, I thought Got the no same idea. thing. Yeah. yeah. Poor Jared is Jared having to play. Jared is going to play Sam for another like nine <laughs> decade. <laughs> poor Sam. I, I also found myself. The actors are trapped. Canada, because you get the lovely reflection on the on the car windscreen, and that's how they know they're in Canada. And that's the worst yeah. possible thing for Dean, apparently. Which we're not, not even, even in America in anymore. America. <laughs> He's like, we're in Canada. I um, know. I also was pretty amused by his uh his like, you know, I'm not wearing any makeup. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm a painted whore. He says D- He's so dramatic. He throws some <sighs> shade at um the best sport by saying if i have to hear one more conversation about hockey i'm gonna puke and you know the funny thing is about this timing wise is because this was (laughs) i'm gonna get a little mad this episode came out in 2011 which was right when like the hockey team in vancouver was like really good like they're not they 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 weren't good for like a decade after this but they were really good that year and like they almost won the champ big championship so like there was legitimately a lot of conversation about the team in the city so like it, it makes sense that you would have actually heard a lot of conversations and I, that joke does not work if so it's it canonically like accurate years, like, in that sense <laughs> yeah like it, it, you know he would have probably heard a lot of conversations about hockey which is I do really I think it's very that you're throwing this shade at the Vancouver team for like a decade after this moment in 2011. They were shit. Be right <laughs> before for so long. August and KJ start their new. <laughs> They're not shit anymore. Podcast. They're good now. I know. They're not I shit get it. anymore. I get They're good now. I get it. I'm just trying to throw out <laughs> cross promotion for your show. I, yes, it's true. It's true. <laughs> Listen to KJ and I talk about hockey on our hockey podcast. I'm so excited. Such a seamless program. Wait, what is the name of this hockey podcast? I feel like I missed this. It's called Chirping Coast to Coast. Which is so good. Oh my God. I love that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Put a link in the description. We will definitely. one thing that obviously I can do is play on a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. I feel like the most dangerous thing to give a podcaster is like two hours where they don't have to do anything else because it's like new podcast. Might as well mm-hmm. make a new one. Mm-hmm. I've almost started a Bluey podcast like three times at this point. Oh, no. A what podcast? I'm so on board. <laughs> I've never seen Bluey. Well, that's... I've just uh, seen bits on TikTok. That's it's a good. personal problem that you need to fix as soon as possible. But what if you want me to be live reacting to it? You know what? You're right. So hold off. Enabling him. (laughs) The Supernatural podcast where we start other podcasts in the middle of the podcast. (laughs) We all have problems. Louis makes me kind of mad because as an Australian, it's made everyone else think that we say nar all the time, which is not how we pronounce it. As somebody who has edited a few episodes of... No, content some with shade. You 100% do. Australians. You definitely do. Do you throw out an R? It does sound, maybe often. it sounds to your ears different, but to our ears, I think it sounds the same. Like, like Beth literally said it like an hour ago. <laughs> Not quite as often as the Canadians in the chat saying A, but like. Yeah, we do that way more. I, I do own that one. Yeah. I know that I say that a lot. That's valid. <laughs> but it happens. I'm sorry. I love you. I think everyone just assumes that it's our version of like no, but it's not yeah, no, yeah, it's not. Nah. That is also fair. <laughs> yeah. Like they're different words. You gotta learn oh, yeah. the distinction. Yeah. <laughs> but everyone treats it as if we're saying no instead of nah. Yeah. But I think that's, <laughs> that's what it because like. <laughs> I'm hearing the same word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. I might as well be full Australian today then. <laughs> So, what are you on the daily? Are you not full normal Australian? Australian? Oh, okay. So you're not full Australian. You're just not normal full Australian. Australian. Okay. Occasionally, you just Jamie was raining it back. For <laughs> Got you. I appreciate it, but also let us have it. Yeah, no, mate. Sometimes you just got to let the drongos have it. <laughs> Bingo, I'm yep. on baby. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can I talk about something less silly yes. and fun? Let's Please. Do it. <laughs> Go to get us back oh, you on mean the, the actual episode that we're meant to be discussing. Real us in, KJ. Yeah, I mean, Real us in. Not... Throw another shrimp on the Barbie. Let's do it. <laughs> They're fucking prawns, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Bobby's obviously not home when Bell's star shows up to like eat them into the like whatever we've decided this is. But, like the only reason that anybody would be out in that kind of storm is if you're an alcoholic and you've run out of alcohol, but two other alcoholics show up on your doorstep for help. Like, yeah, there's no other. Do you be doing a supply run in a storm like that? Do you yeah. know how mad he it was made me? on another case? 
secretly was, without telling the boys. She said he's on a supply he, run and then emptied the bottle. Literally dripping the last few yeah. drops out. <laughs> it made me so mad that they were in Bobby's house. Without Bobby. Without Bobby. Yeah. And then For broke like his the window. Second episode in a row. And then broke his window. Yeah. He's going to come back and he's going to be like, what the fuck? But happened? the window was fixed by the end of the episode. Even okay. So. so that enters another question. Was it? Are they in a third universe? Or are they I back in the original? I think it, it just wasn't. magically got fixed. Did they time travel? I thought it was like raining in the house. <laughs> yeah. It straight up was. Oh, wait. Was I it? thought it wasn't okay, okay, fixed. Good. Good. Yeah, yeah, I think it was I don't like raining so. in the house, and I was oh, like, okay. "It's a then fucking plywood." Listen to me. <laughs> I literally <laughs> watched it an hour and a half ago. Respect your father. That. That's a third question because does that mean Bobby didn't make it back from his supply run by the time they came back from this parallel? Well, yeah. How long were they how gone? How long for? were they gone? Yeah. 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 I think in my head it's like, like minutes in their universe. Yeah, yeah. I but think so. I think Virgil had enough time to plan his whole journey over there. And then showed up. Well, like a day I just think time works differently when they were over yeah. in Bizarro yeah. World because it went from like daytime also, to like, night. Angels are capable of time travel, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. So Virgil made his plans and then time traveled back to moments after that they left and then jumped through. Or yeah, when, or he might have just been out of when jump Raphael to... pulled him back. Mm, Raphael could have pulled him back to an hour mm. after they left or five minutes after they left or whatever that also okay. makes sense it would be great if we had some really consistent writing on this show but you know what i think you're reaching this is far. the wrong show for that it's fun. yeah it's not what it says on the tin nope. <laughs> the cw stamp means that Ooh. Every See, once in a while, I forget that the show is like produced by the CW, mm. and that I think, feel like that's a compliment to Super. Yeah, if you manage Honestly, to forget yeah. that, yeah, and then but sometimes you're violently aware of it. Yeah, and reminded, yeah. <laughs> like like they throw it in your face. We are. If you just took off some of the like aesthetic choices and like the trappings of that, if you just like read the words on a script, I think you would be violently reminded that it's a CW show. I think the thing <laughs> that like does it is just ties because we enjoy it so much. Oof. And like the packaging around it is just very different to especially what the CW is doing now in terms of like their programming. <laughs> I think, yeah. It's it's literally just the fact that they lean so hard into like horror movie tropes kind of like it disguises the fact that it's very much like CW writing choices. And especially that they're like middle-aged men by the end of the show. <laughs> like, they're not, <laughs> like they're not teenagers. Are you sure this is CW? And it's great. Speaking of the writing of this episode, there was one line in particular that I took personal offense to. <laughs> and by extension, August, because I know that we're both huge fans of this word. They have a moment where they say, who? Me too. Who writes, who writes this shit? Because who says penultimate? Me too. <laughs> Noah, every every to every no, every opportunity. No, every opportunity he gets a chance to. Any opportunity. Me too. Yeah. The yeah. first and episode I was on. So much on our show, it's embarrassing. The first episode of this show that I was on, it was the penultimate episode of season one, and I was like, I literally said, "Oh my god, I'm so excited! I came on this episode because I get to say penultimate a few times." And then August said, "Oh yeah, yeah, penultimate," because this is the penultimate episode. And we went back and forth a few times. And then it's come up every single penultimate episode. Every season. So good. I'm glad to hear you saying that. Sarah's a lie. Every single time that I hear that word, I think of this episode. (laughs) And that's okay. So, But it's not a penultimate episode, so that's also kind of not okay, but... But it does mean that you got to say penultimate a bunch more times. I just, like, I just visualized that specific scene in my brain. (laughs) Like, who writes this shit? And I think that's why I don't use that word. Uh, okay, then <laughs> now think about how August and Beth and I really love that word. And also, Sam's 100% used the word penultimate before. He like, has. 100%. Yeah. Surely. He definitely seems like the type. Oh, I feel like I, can, I can't tell you what episode, but I can like see in my brain like yeah. Sam saying the word penultimate and Dean going, Who says penultimate? I you want to And then he'd yeah. use it later in the episode. Yeah. 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 So, like, because that's how Dean works. Mm-hmm. He, he's like, I learned a new word. <laughs> Look at me use it. Look at me use it in context. I'm so smart. <laughs> <laughs> I like the look at me use it in context song. Also, the line in this episode from Bob Singer where he looks at them 
looks at them dead in the eyes and goes, you cannot make up your own lines and then repeats it. <laughs> you cannot make up your own lines. <laughs> Which is so funny considering like I know for a fact that they were ad libbing all the time. Like, oh yeah. Especially <laughs> in an episode like this. Yeah. Especially yeah. <laughs> in this episode. Oh my God. Yeah. Getting to roast themselves in mm. a professional context. Each other. Mm -hmm. I don't know Actors. why I've been very amused by the, <laughs> what, now you're Polish? Like, I don't know why that <laughs> line always cracks me. Eamon Padaleski. Lucky. Uh, I'm, pretty sure. Lucky. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. It's Sam, pretty sure Sam I'm pretty sure. Also, Sam immediately learning, like, the name, the proper pronunciation, like, within seconds of hearing it is very Sam, Sam of him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's so funny to me, though, is, like, it's so logical that everyone just jumped to the conclusion that these dudes were on drugs. Because, like, <laughs> just think about this entire episode. They don't seem to remember their names. They can't seem to remember their lines. Their acting has suddenly gone out the window. But also there's a full scene where they're just standing there and they're presumably mic'd up still because they've just finished shooting and they're standing there talking about murder. <laughs> like, you presumably still have a live microphone on you somewhere. Yeah. And Should everyone's we like, be we killing won't. anyone? Everyone's <laughs> like, think so. you know, they're probably just on drugs. Yeah, yeah. Actors well, these I days, you know? Where he's uh. like, we've all had a psychotic break. <laughs> and he's like, I can work with this. This is fine. <laughs> it's okay. like, actually, I, we'll get through it. I'm so desperate for this show called Supernatural to keep airing that I will just turn a, turn turn my eye and be like, yeah. I'm not looking at your drug problem yeah. i mean that conversation starts with like if we give you more money <laughs> does this go away <laughs> like, no i actually think the amount of money that they have might be why you're in this yeah place. they're like yeah. Yeah. dean is dean is disgusted by that conversation he's like you pay really them is. enough <laughs> which is also really funny because not like three scenes earlier is him just being an absolute glee yes about the amount of money that they have yeah, he's like, it's fine for me to use it because it's me. Do not pay them more when we leave. <laughs> like, it's yeah. honestly so entertaining watching actors playing characters, playing actors, playing characters. <laughs> Sarah left the pod squad. <laughs> Sarah's been waiting all episode to say that. Sarah yeah. almost said it earlier and I then know. stopped. That's the only reason <laughs> that, I remember no, that was, to that say was it. Cruel. I know. I'm there. sorry. <laughs> I texted August to make sure they knew it was a joke, but <laughs> <laughs> Noah's message reads, watch Sarah here. <laughs> I'm gonna cut that whole started, bit I said actors, and then other people were talking, so I shut up. <laughs> I'm proud of you for that. But that little clip will be the bonus bit at the end of the episode, so you can say it right now. It's fine. Actors playing. No, no, character. no. You gotta do the whole it's really entertaining to no. <laughs> I already said that <laughs> once. <laughs> now you must say it again. <laughs> again. Again. Is, this is not a live podcast. I gotta say, you know, like, it was very entertaining to watch actors play characters well that played actors that played characters poorly. Oh, honestly, <laughs> that is such a fun time to watch. I couldn't have said it better myself. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yeah, so true, really Sarah. It's not possible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, the setup for that joke um, was all episode. Yeah. I was, um, also, I, was I would like to point out, this is a little bit of a turn, but I would like to point out that it is not that easy to get a gun in Canada. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I, was, good point. I, just, I just know it's that, that easy. As an American, I didn't bat an I eye. I think they forgot <laughs> that they were had set this episode in Canada. I <laughs> so support I like, you, Beth. Yeah, absolutely. Because I watched this episode, like on my rewatch, I was like, hold on. Especially no. the Southern American. No. <laughs> yeah, not, sorry. No, sorry. Not how it works in Vancouver. What, what if he realized that because he went to he a Vancouver to gun store and then he went down south to Washington. Oh, so the one like, Vancouver gun store? There's not enough time in this episode. There is one Vancouver though. gun store. There's that's that's what what he, he doesn't have but, magic, so he can't just zap himself. Oh, like, yeah, he can. Yeah. It's I'm not that okay. okay. close. Trip. That's like a few hours minimum. No. It's across the border like an, from vancouver really? from vancouver yes it I would be yeah. only like an hour uh, not to get if to you're, a gun store if you're in the also a bunch actual of city of fields. vancouver mm. to get from the city of vancouver where they're filming like to any border is like it's two anywhere from 45 to a couple of hours and then you have to get across the border so you have to wait in the border line and then you have to drive to a gun store and like the first bit after you cross the border is a bunch of fields 
So like oh, I'm kissing that. minimum of like he'd need like four hours. He'd need but like two hours in America. Two hours. You will get the gun quickly. <laughs> and 20 minutes or less. <laughs> also, like he wouldn't have a passport. Oh. That too. I'm like, how are you proper? You're fucking crossing the border. Over the border bro. with a bunch of guns, also not also, advisable. <laughs> <He's> also, <laughs> yeah, that's magic. also fair. But this is back in 2011, so no. all right, no, no, no. not that easy. <laughs> no, yeah. no, that's not an. See, excuse. I forgot that they were like canonically in Canada, so <laughs> it was completely yeah. normal. And I yeah. wrote I my notes. Like, yeah, that's, that's how that works. I literally <laughs> like in my that. notes have like ah, you know flex gun laws in america there there is a i hate to expose you august for your lack of awareness about gun stores i guess which is a positive no, thing, I, that I was a joke i was making a joke about the okay. one gun store in vancouver i know there's more than one i was no, making no, no, a no. joke i'm saying there's bit, one Noah. there's one 15 minutes past the border to canada really yeah okay, that oh. i didn't know but like, why would i know that and that's fine. Well, that's fine. Still a two hour, it's still like I mean, two, if there is a bunch trip. of fields, oh, maybe two hours round trip. at least minimum with border crossing time, at least. <laughs> I mean, there was long. definitely a break there because they had to act. <laughs> yeah. And you still, know how long we had hours. Also, I, the whole passport crossing the border with guns Ooh. thing seems like more of a barrier than yeah. the also, Do we think he just shot himself through? Ooh. No, he wouldn't have a passport. Where would he have fucking gotten a passport? <laughs> I do think it's more likely that he shot himself through. Thank you, that's Sarah. At least getting back. Yeah. 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 That's true. On the way out, getting Canada there. doesn't really care about people leaving Canada, do they? They're probably just like, but America is worried about people coming in. Oh, no, that's what? Canada. That's right. Canada? Fuck America. <laughs> oh, Canada. This is Vancouver. Shit. And we all the Americans went. Anyone trying to bring guns back in? Like, yeah, we that's definitely care about that. <laughs> that's the one. Yeah. That's where. See, we're going to. back, he had the guns, so right. like that's the ex- explanation. But like, yeah. <laughs> I would hope. just a little hand wavy is the point. I think. Yeah, yeah. Convenience, convenience. Yeah. <laughs> I get really got really hung up on the logistics of that because everything else has like. <laughs> I get it. They've made a lot of, they've made a whole thing about this being Canada. Yeah, They, they show yeah. the real Vancouver highway sign when they're driving. But then um, I love how the next shot is like the the windshield and there's just a maple leaf. Have you seen that sign? Oh, like a million times. Okay, that's good. the sign, that's the sign they installed for the Olympics that were the yeah. year before. Oh. The welcome to Vancouver sign that they installed for the 2010 Olympics. Okay. Wow. okay. That's what that sign is. Yeah, I'm but I learning. don't know where the red Canada. I don't know where the red like maple leaf came that's from. That's what I'm saying. That's I not like that was just an effect that they. I think that's just so that they can be like. Remember, we're we in don't Canada. have that on the highway. <laughs> Everyone knows that you only know you're in Canada when you get the red maple leaf sign reflected on the windshield. That's yeah. the only way to know you're in Canada. Kind of similar to Texas because you only know you're in Texas when there's a gun on the highway signs as you drive past them. There's a gun on the highway yeah. signs. When you... <laughs> <laughs> but you thought Texas maybe City. yes for a yeah. second. You thought but it about was, it, huh? It's a possibility. <laughs> I thought for a second I wouldn't you know be what surprised. That seems possible. <laughs> yeah. seems I thought it was a joke, but I wasn't sure. Hey, that's, yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> when in 2011 did this come out? February. Okay, so like this would have been filmed in 2010 then. Like, would there have been extra stuff up around Vancouver in 2010 because of the Olympics? Like, mm-hmm. yes, because the to- the Olympics yeah, were, a f- yeah. were they were exactly preparing for it for this. like a year before. Yeah. So there would have been Olympic stuff starting in 2009, and the Olympics yeah. were like February 2010. Yeah. So yeah, okay. there was that's yeah, it actually was would have been probably around. I don't know when exactly they were filming, but would have been in the height of Olympic. But explain the extra Canadian like decor around Possibly. the general area yeah. <laughs> especially going into like downtown yeah we briefly talked about like the actors playing characters playing act you know the whole we? mess mm-hmm. yeah I feel yeah like there was one of us people. That said Are that. We sure? I, think, I think it was just one person that said <laughs> i think it was just <laughs> one person i think so <laughs> anyway <laughs> um one of my like the scene where they're acting and they're doing such a poor job. One, I'm I love that Jensen and Jared and Misha, because he's, you know, doing it too, like they get to do this comedy role. They're so good at it. Yeah. Like they don't they don't get to do that often in Supernatural and they kill it and I love it. Um but also when Dean lowers his voice even more and Sam looks at him, he goes, What are you doing? And he goes, That's what he is doing. And like the eye contact. 
The <laughs> eye contact that Dean is making with Misha Collins is uh, impeccable. Like, I love like, it so like much. Like, he's like, I gotta... Like, he gotta, doesn't gotta... even... Yes, he doesn't look away to Sam at all. He's just like, I have to make... He's, he's looking at me constantly. Like, and, I need and... to impress... It's the dusty old eye contact coming through on set. It's so real. He did and some so research. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which begs the question, how did he do that research? Did he look back at some of their prior episodes? Did he watch some uncut I think, footage? I think he looked up Supernatural TV show and he found some interesting things. He and just he, watched Lazarus Rising. I hope he went to Tumblr. And then and all of a sudden he like re like it just like changed and mm-hmm. it just sort of all the pieces clicked into place. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was like, oh, so that's what everyone sees when they look at us. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's either oh. that or he just thought to himself, what would I do in this situation? And he goes, <laughs> oh, look at gas. <laughs> <laughs> either of those is incredibly Honestly, incriminating. Yeah. Either of those <laughs> Also, when they first get there, and he's the first one to be like, you know, if Cass is still alive, like, he's the one that brings up, like, you know, Cass is in trouble. He's, mm-hmm. And then he prays to him, and he's so relieved to see Cass, and, like, so offended that it's not actually him. Yep, yep. <laughs> the pain. Personally offended. The personal pain in his Misha? face. Like, he's, like, so Misha? pissed off. What yeah. the hell is a Misha, first of all? <laughs> Jensen, Misha, what's up with the names around here? <laughs> Adaleski. Adaleski. Amen. Adaleski. Well, my point was actually also about the actors being characters, being actors, being characters. Uh, <laughs> no. um, You're really just going to drop that as often as possible, are you now? The thing that only one of us said? <laughs> <laughs> only one. Well, Beth said it now, too. So. You're right. I guess it's now. <laughs> I, at this I said point some in the podcast, version. two. Some, I tried to say it. I don't think I really succeeded at saying it. Okay. But when Jensen's playing Dean, playing Jensen, playing Dean, <laughs> um, you see the one part where it like points to his feet and he, you can see the spike tape. Mm-hmm. And, and if so you didn't know, Jensen's spike tape is always blue and Jared's spike tape is always red. Um, the spike tape in that particular... No, he's tape, on the wrong one. <laughs> there's blue spike tape, but there's white spike tape over it to, like, highlight it for the scene. And I just really enjoy that for some reason. Oh, sweet. White has no significance in... What's what's Misha's spike tape? I honestly don't know. Please tell me it's blue. blue. Okay, well... No. I'm, it can't be... Jensen is blue. Yeah. Yeah. Or just, oh, sorry, green. That's what I meant. Uh, I think it's... Green. Yeah. I feel like green would make the most sense, I'm gonna, but I don't... I'm going to commit so we a crime. Have to SDL brain rot, so green, of course, is going to make sense to us. <laughs> is it because I called you all big fans? Misha is yellow. So sorry to break the news. I oh. like that that took you... Point five seconds. <laughs> Sarah pulled up their phone. And I was like, Sarah's looking it up. They're gonna know in about two seconds. Sarah okay, talk about it a lot. Like it is a very, I would say, well-known fact about them. Like they talk about it often. Okay. The wind you can remind Delulu if you remind yourself if you were that segue. blue plus yellow equals green. You said the Winchesties <laughs> and got cut off. You um, said the Winchesties, and, like, <laughs> and I'm so anxious about what the rest of that <laughs> sentence is. <laughs> Because I know Jamie's I, 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 hoping that it's they Winchester's got to win today, or <laughs> it's just Winchester lore. Uh, yeah, it is Winchester lore. I love that they have Cliff in there, but it's not actually Cliff. But Cliff has been on Supernatural. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cliff was in also in Prison Blues. Cliff, yeah, Full yeah. Blues. He played tiny. Uh, he was tiny. Okay, I was about to say. I really hope that tiny made it into this episode because he's their bodyguard right and so yes. he, mm-hmm. he is their whole like he's escort there. throughout the rest of it that's, that's he's so there cool. but he's not there like somebody else yeah. plays cliff which is like Ugh. basically what everyone other than jen is like everyone else is not playing themselves mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which but i do think it's really funny bit. that they were like oh, we, we we won't get we any of the actual producers and it's delightful we only get the person who's actually an actor to play themselves. I would have appreciated yeah. if they had had everybody behind the scenes play themselves. What because... if the writers played themselves? I want yes, to say. Exactly. Um, if Bobby Singer and Eric Kripke yeah. had played themselves, it would have been really that funny really seeing good. them <laughs> contrasted against Jared and Jensen's quote unquote bad acting, which was <laughs> so funny. But like Yeah, that would have been really funny. It would have been really funny to see writers who are not actors play themselves. The guy the 
the one who's Lou. He's like the stunt coordinator. That's yeah. I think that's actually him. Lou, oh, is that yeah. actually him? Yeah, yeah. Okay. it is. It is Honestly, him. That's he's cool. the person I would have believed to be an actual actor the most. <laughs> that's the only he's, people that they got to do it. <laughs> he's like co-written or helped like storyboard yeah, he, like two episodes before yeah. like one oh, episode. That's, cool. that's why yeah. I knew that was because we Same. talk about the writer every single week. So like so do we when we talked about him, I remember being like, oh yeah, and he plays himself in the episode where <laughs> I what showed Abby Jo a picture of Lou from The French Mistake, obviously not telling her any de- details, just being like, yeah. this is the guy. Like, Because his name's like Lou Bolo or something yeah. similar to that. I was like, he looks like it. Like, you see this man and you're like, I can that's believe that that's a Lou. You're like, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> My grandpa's name is Lou. And so I take a little bit of offense to that, but it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> While we are talking about producers, though, I did notice that they have like the little plaque that says like KM Studios. I'm assuming that's like a little shout out to Kim Manners. Probably. I was like, oh, that's a nice little detail. And also, like, they weren't putting the CW on anything. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the CW. Yeah. He says so they that. Don't they're stuff, they might actually be profitable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of my biggest issues, which we've kind of talked about, it's like the Sarah Gamble long con or whatever, but I hate that they killed Misha in this episode. <laughs> the disrespect that Misha received on the set of Supernatural pisses me off. And, and they I just like, so joke about it in this episode. In this episode, they're just joking about yes. it constantly about like being like, Haha, wouldn't it be funny if like right. Misha was like, if Jensen and Jared were actually assholes to Misha <laughs> and everyone else was, and then he gets killed. Right. Also, the... Okay. the, the the just them being like, yeah, but we made the front page because he died. Like the disrespect, it makes me so upset. <laughs> Not like like Supernatural wouldn't use every like real life Supernatural wasn't going to use any opportunity to use cast to mm-hmm. make the show more popular at <laughs> right. Cass's expense. Mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. like that wasn't a real thing that they did. But mm-hmm. the amount of fun that Misha had doing that death scene. I feel like it balances out, you know? He really put his heart and soul into it. The the part that does make me laugh is like, they're like, okay, listen, we are getting Misha out of here. Uh, we want to kill him, but we can't not admit that he's attractive. The attractive crying <laughs> <Yeah>. man. <laughs> the attractive crying man was over there. And the, oh, what did they call the other guy? The angry guy? The I think angry guy. I will say, though, at the start of the episode, um, Balthazar calls Cass Cassie, and it just was like, oh, you mean like Dean's first love, Cassie? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. That's a really good parallel to draw. <laughs> Mad props. Like, hmm, that name just... sounds familiar. I wonder where you've used that name before. <laughs> yep. Makes you think. Makes you think. The scary man killed the attractive crying man. Yep. Yep. One note that I really did want to mention before we got to the end is there's one guy, whenever Virgil goes to the set and starts shooting up Kripke and starts shooting up everybody, there's one guy who is dodging all the gunfire. And it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. (laughs) So is this guy like one of the stunt people for the show? Or like, how how is he able to dodge two different shots at him? They don't address it at all, and they at just all. ignore it. He just, he gets away. He's he, like, he, he doesn't get shot. And I'm going to go this way, I guess. <laughs> Do we what? get a name for him as a character, or I can we don't. just kind of assign him? just a background any... guy. No it's name. <laughs> and he dodges, and he dodges. And then he's not mentioned again, not shown again. It's mm-hmm. just. But if we don't get a name, that means we could basically call him any background actor, mm-hmm. producer, writer that we wanted to. Like we can yeah. head canon him as whoever we want. Okay, so let's call him. Who else wrote this? Ep- wrote on this episode? Ben, ben Edlund. Edlund was Edlund. the main that's, writer. This is, that's Ben Edlund. <laughs> that's Ben Edlund. Because Sarah Kripke gets an, is Sarah Kripke. <laughs> Sarah Kripke. <laughs> oh, me. that's a good blooper. That's a good one. Bye. <laughs> Sarah Gamble gets mentioned. You're, a, you're not allowed Kripke to cut that gets out. mentioned. I won't. And <laughs> Ben Edlund, I think, is the third one. And he's the third major writer on the show, right? Yeah. So from what I can tell, like, generally speaking, like, if you're a showrunner, you kind of get a writing crew on, like, every episode of the season because you do it with the overarching stuff. But Ben Edlund was, like, the specific different writer this episode. Yeah. So maybe, maybe that's him. Mm-hmm. I'm going to check the IMDb real quick. 
Uh, ben Edlin doesn't recall Kripke minding getting shot. I'm not sure if he didn't demand to be blown away, said Edlund. He doesn't recall, so that means <laughs> Sounds like Kripke, he definitely actually. wanted to get killed. Yeah. yeah. I think killing Sounds the like... creator in a place where we're talking about absentee gods and stuff is something <laughs> that immediately appealed to Eric. Yeah. Yeah, well, of course it did. Just, yeah. yeah, that's like none of this information is, is at all surprising. No. Yeah. Uh, when he's getting shot, though i thought it was so funny because the actor like just keeps walking towards virgil he gets <laughs> shot like three times <laughs> yeah. like, like once on the left you. once on the right and then it's like to the chest he gets and it's non-fatally finally... he gets non-fatally shot the first two times like yes. you can totally survive that if you just maybe like run out of the way but he's like no fake die i don't know <laughs> it's just a big big like cinematic like old west like hero they death. do like, the big midwest which again kripke would have Kripke's like yeah. drooling with like anticipation <laughs> that, that the character playing him is going to get to do this. Like He's so excited for it. You know it. And maybe maybe this is just the Texan in me, but uh, a few days ago at work, I saw somebody, because I got to a I stop. I'm a delivery driver. I got to a stop and I saw a guy literally get hit with three separate taser hits and did not fucking flinch. Man. He said, that's nah, fine. That's light, fine. Light work. No That's reaction. Fine. No big deal. <laughs> he had to been on coke or something. And then once yeah. he got hit with the, uh, you know, beanbag shotgun that American cop. That's what him, took him out. That's <laughs> what took him out. He said, "Ah, oh, you know what? Hold this knife. It's fine. No big deal." So maybe Eric Kripke is built like that guy, and he's on coke the whole time. <laughs> It would explain a lot. It would explain a lot, right? (laughs) Oh, oh. And that's why the show saying we can dismiss the first five seasons as maybe Kripke was just on coke. Maybe he was just (laughs) on coke. That seems like an interesting take to take. (laughs) You know what, Jamie? I'm a little disappointed we didn't bring that up in our breakdown episode. Like, Uh, why didn't we ever touch on maybe Eric Kripke was just on coke the whole time? Maybe. (laughs) (laughs) I just love that. We did touch on the fact that Jared has those paintings, correct? He has both the pop art and does the he? cowboy one. <laughs> okay. Wow. Jared does? As he should, honestly. Him. I think you should be allowed to take that home. And there's a joke in here about how they sold off one of um, Jared's watches for like $3,500. And they were like, how much would these big ass paintings sell for? I won't be surprised if they end up at a convention one day. <laughs> Just saying. Um, I'm going to send a picture to, I guess, the podcasting squad yeah. group message. And it's a scene from Sight where somebody who is credited in this episode of Supernatural is credited as set guy shows up in Sight. And so I'm curious if anybody remembers the face of the person who dodged the bullets. And maybe it's that guy in that picture. I don't think so. You doesn't, know what? I don't, hey, it I don't want the negativity. I only I'm want beast, positive I'm just being honest. <laughs> Like, yes, yes. I don't think it is, but <laughs> if you want to head cannon it, you can. <laughs> I will head cannon it. And he showed up in psych too. Isn't that crazy, everybody? That's Whoa. Crazy. Wow. Thank wow. You. Thank you. Positive answers only. <laughs> We haven't talked about the end, and I feel like before the episode ends, we should just at least mention what happens. <laughs> like, oh, you're right, yeah. It's you're not right. my podcast, oh. but I do feel like y'all might want to talk about that. <laughs> That's clearly the least important part, though, though, you know? Yeah, because really, what we really care about is the first 25 minute minimum. <laughs> and the guy that's dodging all these bullets. And the guy. Yeah. Which that's is right the important. real this fucking question. Right right before. Before. He's the uh, real in detail. star. Anybody listening knows who the guy dodging the bullets is. If it's Ryan Beale, fuck can hit me up specifically so I can lord it over everybody else in this call because that'd be great. If it's not, just hit up, you know, the the Saving People Querying Things Twitter or Instagram or whatever. I thought you were going to be like, I never mention it again because I cannot be proven wrong. No, because I do want to know. But I want to know if I am in particular am right because then I can really make it set, you know? It's fine. (laughs) Whatever. Anyway. At the end of the episode, I really do love seeing Balthazar, which I think I've decided that I'm going to nickname him Balthy mm, because it's okay, so much better that. to write yeah. out Balthazar. Yeah. That's yeah. fair. I like seeing Balthy and Cass on the same team. Balthy and Cassie. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, no, no, because then we'll get confused with Cassie from season one because she is. I mean, it's icon. not our fault that they called it's him Cassie. It's their fault. You're right. 
<laughs> you're right. But I like seeing them on the same team and on the same side. Like mm-hmm. that's powerful. And I love that as a duo. There's an editing choice when, so like Cass threatens Raphael to like leave and they do. Um, And Balthazar's like, okay, Cassie, like here's this thing. Don't fuck it up. Basically like don't fall on your own sword or whatever. And Pitar. they're having this. I don't think they say that one though. No, I don't no, no, think they say okay. it then. I'm trying to normalize fall on your own petard as mm. a saying. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> anyway, so like they're having this moment, and for some reason, the editors like cut to Dean, like watching them have this moment. And I'm like, that's so interesting. Yeah, it's just a choice, <laughs> a real choice that they're making in that moment. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm. Like, oh, I'm Cass is as to why you're making that choice, but okay. Cass okay. is close to someone else, and Dean huh. needs to have a reaction to it. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, we need to be like, hmm, let's, let's focus it on how Dean is feeling personally mm-hmm. about this. Mm hmm non-personal situation. And at the end end, when Cass is about to leave and he's technically talking to Dean and Sam, he's he's only looking at Dean. Yes. So, like, yeah, it's like a lot of de- <laughs> de- de- conversations like, with he's like, both of them. I wish, he's like, I wish I could tell you more, Dean. And he's technically <laughs> using the plural you, but right, technically. really he's using the <laughs> like, you. <who's- laughs> like Dean I wish Winchester mm-hmm. and that's just interesting you know yeah mm-hmm. it's a good thing to it point is. out it's really interesting sometimes things just make you go hmm, hmm. hmm. I would hmm. love to talk to the editors of Supernatural <laughs> if I could Honestly. just have have a conversation with those guys because writers are one thing mm-hmm. but editors are a completely other they thing they choose what thing gets what what they choose how the interpretation yeah yes works. like there's so many moving parts like okay you have the writers who write the scene and then you have like Jensen and Misha choosing to act a certain way Mm -hmm. and then you have the editors who choose to edit what they did Mm -hmm. and then you have the people who sign off on the whole damn thing Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which we can only assume that those people pay attention about half the time right because the majority yeah Yeah, because they're you know pompous fat cats who just sit up (laughs) in their situations and don't really care but the editors i feel like are the real heroes of the show Mm -hmm. (laughs) yeah they're real heroes villains everything in between all of the outlook okay Um, (laughs) sarah what have you been working on um, I've been I've been <laughs> staring at um the actors that were in the episode. <laughs> <laughs> And you know what? We can't say that none of us have done the exact same thing, staring at the actors who were in the show. I do think that Noah may be correct. I think that, that the dude who is who is I dodging agree. those shots by like just going like this, I think that is Ryan Beal. I would also like to point out that the other dude that like ducks um the shot, his name is credited as Gopher. <laughs> Why Gopher? Gopher? Go for I it. think that means more like that PA a, because yeah, stuff it's like a them. set term. Yeah, but I just love it because it it definitely is the dude. It's Ryan who Beale, just like for sure. Who I'm pretty sure it's Ryan. It's Beale. one thing is, to duck is from that a, a shot's fired like, because like that's different. Yeah, that dude who was just like yeah, yeah, that dude. That dude I think is Ryan Beal. It was Beautiful. pointed. It was like oh, not only did he dodge one, he, he dodged. dodged another one. Like you know, like, it's very very obvious yeah. that it was. I want to bring something up that I don't like. Do it. Negatives of the episode. <laughs> about like the the end of the episode. So like, oh yes, I have one. Okay, also, one note it. about the end of the episode and a Hit particular. Because I, I, I'm so sorry. I was tuned out while I was trying to. Be- <laughs> okay, Sarah tunes out um, when they listen to our podcast. Okay. No, no, you no. Get it. You get it. I was trying to figure out if you were right, Noah. Uh, you yeah, know what? She was I take it all back. I was hyper fixated. I take it all back, Sarah. You're my favorite person on this call. Good. Hey. You've been torturing me <laughs> the entire night. You're so right. I fucked you up on your recap. I owe you the, this part. The beef at least. in this episode between y'all. Right. I feel like we can't have a major Pod Squad episode without having some beef. <laughs> At least a minimum. There's too amount. many of us to not have something exactly. personal going yeah. on. Exactly. We gotta have. We gotta. All we're so drama free. We have to create. We have. There has to be something. Big drama. At least pretend there's some drama free as a friend group. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Exactly. All of that I to say. Know, just be friends or whatever. Like. <laughs> <laughs> That's overrated. Sarah, we should just sorry. be actors playing characters, playing actors playing characters. 
<laughs> You're so right, Sarah. Wow. You know what? That's a great point. Couldn't have said it better myself. Okay, but the thing... <laughs> anyway. The thing that I don't like is the low-key transphobic joke that they make about Raphael being in a, a female vessel. Oh, oh man. Yeah. That okay. part, yeah. That's the one thing yeah. I would change about this episode is that I joke do not. is so gross and unnecessary. Mm-hmm. It probably wasn't good in 2011. It's really no. bad. Yeah. It's, I was like, like... They were so like, close to having an episode because there's so many funny episodes of Supernatural that I watch back and I'm like, this isn't actually funny. Oh my gosh, these jokes aged poorly. And they were so close to making it out of this one without that. And then yeah. they it and up then in the they end. Fuck it up with yep. one singular joke that also like is like there is a way to to like draw attention and make it an interesting feature of angels that they like that that's that's such so interesting when we go like angels don't care about gender in the same way like being in a different vessel like doesn't matter to them the same way that's really interesting and cool mm-hmm. instead of being transphobic like you yeah. had two options and you chose transphobia really right yeah. i think they thankfully i think they changed that up a little bit more think- definitely a more positive thing later but. yeah absolutely it absolutely is more positive later hear. but good to not, hear right I like that. gotta give you some positive outlook there thank you <laughs> i felt really bad that i made such a good joke before you made a really good point <laughs> <laughs> but giving it some hope afterwards helps. Yeah. And then there's like that implication of how how many weapons did Balthazar get? So like cast plus how many weapons equals more than Archangel. Yeah. And the like, algebra. Is it mm. really? Because like is the math he, he threatens Raphael and he's like, if you don't want to die tonight, you better skedaddle. And so Raphael leaves. But I'm like, why why wouldn't you just simply kill him? <laughs> like mm-hmm. like is it like, because is this he doesn't Cash, currently have them on him. Does Cash just not more really like want to kill him? Like I'm just confused. That, like like if you can do it, it seems like heaven civil war is not going well. <laughs> so. Yeah, either side. I right, think like he just he's trying to like prevent like killing Angel. Like that yeah. is kind of like his, his <laughs> dick earlier cast. Okay, uh, it's, but it's his, also kind his, of like his... the thing of I'm assuming with the civil war in heaven, if he was to just kill Raphael and they had no one to lead the other faction, they'd probably just default to Cass's side. Like yeah. Yeah. Right. I, I feel like if Cass managed to kill Raphael, no one else is going to have the like, no one else is going to have the bravery to fucking go up against him. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I just I man, what an opportunity lost. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, also, this is the first time I understood Virgil. He's talking about when he gets the guns that he was the heaven weapon, like the keeper of weapons. Keeper of weapons. I was like, I never made that connection in my head. And I was like, oh, this is why he's like so pissed off. The weapons were stolen. Like, Mm -hmm. like he is like, (laughs) he's like really out here because he's like, I fucked up my job. And so now, like, it's like, oh shit. It's like, of course oh, I'm being like, punished. I <laughs> fucked up. Like, I. You have this scene that we get early on of Zach, like, sitting in the bar, being, like, miserable about his nine to five. We should have had the same thing with Virgil. Yeah. <laughs> That guy, the actor who played Virgil, he did a great job. Oh, yeah. He really killed it, honestly. <laughs> what is this? Was this a timeout? So, yeah, it is. It is exactly <laughs> right. that. Sarah, what's your cat's name? Bobby. Bobby? After Bobby, Bobby the from the show? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Okay, and then... maybe it's not a timeout. It was just part of the podcast. <laughs> This is Bobby. He's she so had... fucking cute. She's you a girl. You can see the rivalry he's just dissolving in so real time as he realizes the cat's name's Bobby. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's I'm sorry. no way Noah I'm can't sorry. be mad anymore. Noah I can't be like mad at all. And that's un- fine. Incapable of it. It's okay. Her name is Bobby. It's spelled with an I at the end instead of so a Y. Cute. Um, And I like to tell the story that they put a pin in her leg. So when I found, well, my friend found her on okay. the road. Uh, She had a broken leg. <gasps> and and uh, they had to put a pin in her leg. And when they like labeled the thing, it ended up saying Bobby pin. So I tell <laughs> that every time I talk about her name because it's so cute. It's that is so adorable. Cute. And today, fun story, she sat on my dresser and cried at me until I came in the living room. Um, And then, you know, you would think that like she would want to sit with me in the living room. No, she wanted to sit on her cat tree, but she didn't want me in the other room. She wanted you to be in the same area as that. <laughs> That's I want to go into her cat behavior. It, you cat you, behavior. you oh, need to come in here. <laughs> and I'm going to ignore you, but like get your ass out of bed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
it's motivational for you personally. Yes, it they, is. She walked in front of the camera and she has almost as many gray hairs as I do. So it's fun. I love her little, she's like a little salt and pepper every once in a while. And I love it. <laughs> it's so cute. And I love her whiskers. I call her the Lorax. I go, <laughs> oh, no. the I said, do you speak for the tweez? <laughs> <laughs> that is adorable. Time, time in. <laughs> I'm back in. I'm in. Sports. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we talked about this while I was hyper fixating on who the fuck this man was, um, but uh, them being bait is so funny. <laughs> I love when they're bait. It also makes me very sad. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot that goes with it. That then awesome, I'm like, yeah. ooh. It works out because they use people as bait every once in a while. Specifically a few episodes ago, Sam used somebody as bait when he was soulless. So it was oh, like, yeah. maybe yeah. this is your penance for that moment. Or right? <laughs> yeah. But like, wasn't the lesson learned? Like, maybe we shouldn't use ba- people as bait. Yes, it, and then it was. Cass was like, "Oh, this is Balthazar's plan. Go ahead, Balthazar." I, the fact that, I would have done the same thing. Yeah, the fact that Cass <laughs> knew and Just still cold. said, "I would have done the same thing." Right, right. Why? After, so after they've very, already very clearly been like, "We're pissed about this." The nerve of like, <laughs> him to just be like, "Yeah, I would have done it too." Yeah, like, like oof, cold. Yeah. Oh. I feel like he was Funny. just like it was Balthazar's plan. But I feel like it was their plan, and he's just trying to deflect yeah. some. And he was yeah. like, "We both he's agree." Like, you that already this is hate plan. Balthazar. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> like so the fact like, that I agreed with him right now is I already can't lie enough. To you. Yeah, he's like, he's like, I can't be like that completely. <laughs> I'll, I'll admit to some of it, but I'm yeah. queer for you, so I've. <laughs> and then some he's gonna. To you, he turns okay. around and just makes the eye contact with Dean. And they mm-hmm. have their moment mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and game over. <laughs> and, honestly, yeah. Also, Dean has that moment where he's specifically talking about how good Sam's life would have been if they had stayed yeah. in the alternate universe. Which he had no concern for himself. He if didn't you, care if about you need a husband. Hit me up. Don't worry <laughs> about it. It's fine. We'll figure it out. If you're just jealous that Jared has a wife at this point, it's okay. We'll get there. <laughs> Oh my god. Point out something but no real. there's a, a parallel line in this mo in that scene that I want to point out. Um he says, uh Dean says to Sam, like, you got like the whole package, it's like no contest, you would stay. Um the last time we heard Dean use that line was in what is and what should never be when he's talking to John's grave. Ooh. Your life, which where he goes, your life for all of theirs, no contest. Oh, just so you can all feel what I felt when I realized that was where I knew that line from. Wow, August, thank you for that. Thanks You're so welcome. Much. You're wow. such a bro. You can send some new beef brewing in the podcast right now. <laughs> I feel like it's happening right now. <laughs> Sometimes sharing isn't caring. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm aware. <laughs> Sometimes it's too much care. of a burden to carry it all on your own. Oh, literally, it doesn't care. Literally, none of us, especially the supernatural veterans who have seen the entire show, could <laughs> ever really be mad at anyone else for sharing oh, something God. horrifying because we've all done it. Well, exactly. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I need to know if I'm the only one. I was like, that has picked up on this parallel. I did not because, pick it up. Uh, I, yeah, because I have never picked up on it until this F watch. Um, I didn't get that far. <laughs> 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 and Jamie had seen this episode Jamie, twice. How you, feeling? how you feeling? You feeling? No, like I've seen it. Once. We both related to that, or we it was this was was this new information for you? Well, I didn't spot the parallel. But okay, to be fair, so, I've, I've watched significantly less supernatural. Just you haven't watched. Gen- I agree. I've seen both these episodes. So we're both anti times. anti this <laughs> this connection that August has made. Yeah, like I've seen just this episode twice, and it, I've seen the other one once. It so. just okay. can't hurt you as much as it can hurt the rest of us. That's absolutely <laughs> fair. Can't blame you for. That. <laughs> um, also, if you I know just know take the headphones out, it can't hurt me. You know what? You're right. <laughs> it can't hurt you now. <laughs> okay, now. That's great. The great thing is you can now say whatever you want about Noah. <laughs> oh, no. Never mind. We can't uh, now. Everyone stop talking should shit. I, should I take that. it back off? <laughs> <laughs> if only I wasn't editing this episode. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, you know, you know, every damn thing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I will 
will say I didn't pull that parallel, but the parallel I did pull is you. we've now had two episodes that are kind of like the boys in like more quote unquote like normal universes. The other one I'm thinking of is It's a Terrible Life. And I found it really interesting that in It's a Terrible Life, you see a lot of like Dean's apartment and Dean's house and Dean's space sort of thing. But in this episode, you only see Sam. Yeah. Yeah. And you see Jensen's trailer like very briefly. But other than that, like you're always in Jared's house with Jared's Mm -hmm. wife. And like, you know what I mean? That's true. That's That's really true. Wow. Interesting distinction to draw there between the two meta Mm -hmm. narratives they have. Less emotionally devastating though. So that's true too. (laughs) Oh, just like a fun fact. When they do the laptop thing and they open it up and it's the days of our lives clip, I'm pretty sure that that was real and that like Jensen didn't know that it was going to happen. Yes, yes. Yes. And he was like... Like they like were like, and eh, we're actually gonna play Days of Our Lives. They pulled it, out. yes, and so that's a, it's an authentic reaction. Yeah, <laughs> pulled it out the archives. I love that for him. This but also, is Days of Our Lives owned by the same network as CW? Because otherwise, would they have had Ooh. to pay for the rights to use that clip? I I cannot answer that. I think Neither can I. Lives I, could, like, I could look it up, but that seems like the easy solution instead I'm of. I'm gonna say it. no. I'm gonna say that Days for Lives not the same. Days for Lives was was uh, um, NBC slash Peacock. Yeah, yeah. So I would say they probably had to purchase the <laughs> rights to use that clip. <laughs> Just like as a guess. <laughs> they said this is worth it. They said yeah. definitely it's worth it. <laughs> it was worth it. Jensen to react on screen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I'd, I'd pay anything. They were like this prank. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They love. <laughs> they said we're pranks. Yes. Mm. Pranks. Especially on set pranks where they're filmed. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, they again, just I'm just again, saying. Gilmore Girls was on the CW. They could have just used Gilmore Girls. They like <laughs> But they wanted to roast Jensen specifically. Yeah, it was Jensen's trailer. They were doing a whole Jensen bit because they were like, (laughs) "We got Jen for the Jared stuff later." I think was an oversight for them not to do a Gilmore Girls bit. Um, and also would have saved them money, which apparently they did not have extra. (laughs) (laughs) That's that's why the CW went broke because they spent all of their money to get this Days of Our Lives clip for this episode. (laughs) Jensen was like pretty famous for his role on Days of Our Lives. Like he won awards for it. Like yeah. That's true. Maybe in the script they had Jared's girl Gilmore Girls reference moment where he like came on screen. And mm-hmm. then when Jensen came over to the computer, they pulled up a Days of Our Lives clip. And so he thought he was ready to see Sam acting as because correct me if I'm wrong, he's a Sam in that show too, right? He's, he's a, a dean, dean, isn't he? He's, he's a dean. You're he's right. Dean. <laughs> That's even better. <laughs> so he was ready to see a Sam acting as Dean, but then he saw Dean acting as his Days of Our Lives character, and that was even better of a reaction to pull for the episode. I believe his character <laughs> is named Eric Brady. Yeah, yes. which is terrible. <laughs> it's a bad name. It's not it's great. Not great. <laughs> I'm sorry. You could have done better, Eric. Kripke. Why just roast the supernatural writers when you can also roast the Days of Our Lives writers? Both at the same time. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, we just roast everyone. Mm-hmm. We're just a roasting show over here. Maybe that's maybe our subtitle. <laughs> Wearing people saving things, the roasting show. <laughs> I feel like then you've got to be like a uh, like hashtag roasted. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> You gotta lean into the cringe of it all. You're right. You're <laughs> right. Maybe it's a subtitle, like in the description for the Pot Squad episodes. I should add it to the. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Sarah. This is actually where we're just. Um, the name of the episode is the one where Noah and Sarah beef. <laughs> you know what? I was gonna say maybe we should go back and record the opening bit where it's like the supernatural episode where Sarah and Noah are not friends anymore. <laughs> <laughs> It's real confused people before the episode even starts in the yeah. whole episode. Like, like, Dang, I'm fun. sorry. It's all in And it good just fun. starts with me being like, I know this much about Noah's family. <laughs> <laughs> There, have you been back on the show happened all the you know what? channels? I think that's our fault. Uh, yes. Okay. Have you? Yes. Uh, Weekend at Bobby's. Yes. Okay, good. I was like, I definitely did another I was one like, where it wasn't really like did. 80 of us. I was like, I know you did an episode that was just you Um, and Cheney Channel was your first time on here, so it had to have been after that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we'll have you on for more. I swear it's not real beef. We're planning season seven very soon. Okay. Very soon. So it'll soon, we'll be soon be asking for requests for season seven. That was a really unconvincing, okay. <laughs> it really was. I was like, man, Sarah. I was like trying to go through the season seven episodes and like be like, oh, oh this okay, okay, episode. Okay. 
And then I was like, season seven. I love it. You just haven't watched the show before, then you don't have that issue. You just don't know any of the season seven episodes. <laughs> You're I'm just so gonna like right. make Beth pick for yeah. uh, for you. Yeah. <laughs> as long as so, it yeah, wasn't a response thinking. to me saying it wasn't real beef, and you're saying okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh no, that was <laughs> that's really funny. <laughs> Well, now that we've finished the hunt for this week, we've tracked down the monster. No big deal. Now it's time to move on into our favorite section of the episode, character blessings. Who would you like to bless this week? August, how about you start? Oh, I get to, I, I feel like I shouldn't start. I'm always You're here. Right. I always get the opportunity. You're I'm right. going to let someone else, someone else we're start. Just, we're just hey, the big people now. We can all go. <laughs> Everybody else um, is. It's really rare that I, I'm here for a blessing and I don't bless Sam, but honestly, I think he was okay. He's doing good enough in this episode that he doesn't need it. So I'm going to give my blessing to fake Jen, uh, who really like had somebody in her life die and then her husband reacted in the most insane way possible. So true. And she's never really going to understand why. Mm -hmm. I love how you're like, I'm not going to bless Sam. I'm just going to bless someone that's Sam adjacent. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Somebody that Sam hurt. (laughs) It was was, really, up up until I opened my mouth, I was like, it's either going to be Jen or Misha. Both valid take on this episode. I want to bless Sarah Gamble this week because she's really girl bossing her way out here, making her dreams come true. And like, I think it's also just so sad that they were like, let's portray her as like having no control over the show that she's actually meant to be showrunning. Yeah. Like, and I'm not saying it's misogyny, but I'm not not saying it's misogyny, you know? <laughs> but two out of the three writers on this episode were men. So we could say it's misogyny. <laughs> we can say whatever we want. You know what? You know <laughs> we what, have been Sarah? this whole time. <laughs> it's never stopped us before. <laughs> it's never stopped us before in six <laughs> seasons of the show. Any other blessings? I mean, I can bless who I bless every single time I come on this podcast. Can I say Castiel? Mm-hmm. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to bless Castiel because he's really going through it in heaven. Like, the <laughs> war is not going well. Um, he, He's got a little bit of a win this week, but it was a lot to get it. To be honest, this, and, it's been a while since I watched the rest of season six, but like, this does feel like the first time that Sam and Dean are taking him at all seriously about it. Right, like, <laughs> and, and, and Dean, like, kind of gets frustrated. And he's like, all you've told us is that it's hard. And I'm like, but you're not even really listening that it's hard like <laughs> and and you know i just <laughs> my precious little baby and i have to bless him when i when i'm on here so fair, fair. i have a blessing i think it's going to be controversial Ooh. oh do it do it do it i in <laughs> <laughs> um, I would like to bless Virgil. That is okay, okay. <laughs> that's an interesting um, blessing. Because... Like, it's going to be controversial. I'm like, how controversial can it be? <laughs> I was, <laughs> and I you was were like, fucking hold my beer. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna bless it's crazy it's crazy (laughs) I chose to bless Virgil because he got to do what all of us want to and that is hunt (laughs) there it is there it is also like he got didn't he get trapped in the non-magic world just like beaten to a pulp like that sucks and also he did his job really badly and he's probably going to jail so like he might actually deserve a couple blessings you know what (laughs) he's got a Fucked, yeah. actually yeah yeah at the end of this episode he's just doing his job and it just doesn't yeah work. and now we've tied it back to the opening line of the show so that seems like a perfect point to wrap it up thank you so much everybody for coming on this episode this was a fantastic episode to have everybody on for would you guys like to shout out your podcasts one more time just before we wrap up and we will also yeah. link them for anyone listening we will also of link course. all of their stuff in of the course. episode description go follow all of them they all make please incredible do stuff. they all make the best podcasts i've ever listened to <laughs> i still don't understand how you have the time to edit like eight different podcasts and plus listen to so many of our episodes like because my I mean, other job point. is because i'm a delivery driver and so i just listen to podcasts the whole time <laughs> that answers also, like half point. of my no one's editing half of our podcast so like yeah. <laughs> It's fine. It's happening. The listening is happening. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Anyway, yeah. in the same order you, you were at the top. Once more, hi, I'm Jamie. I co-host Drug Picks Podcast and also Thief Steals a Podcast, which is a leverage podcast, not Supernatural, with Beth, and we have fun at Chaos, and the links will be below. I'm Beth. Beth loves Cass on all my socials. I co-host Raising Perdition, and I co-host Raising Winchesters, and you can find us on 
TikTok and Twitter. And I'm KJ, and I host Supernatural Opinions, and I also co-host a podcast with August called Tripping Coast to Coast, where we talk about hockey. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm Sarah. I'm a co-host of Raising Winchesters. Um, hoping that comes back soon. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jensen, uh, please. All my socials. Uh, all my socials will be down down in the below. <laughs> If you aren't already, we would love for you to subscribe to our show on your preferred platform of choice and share it with friends. Leave us a little review. If you want more content from us, you can join our Discord server or follow us on any social media platform. Our website is queeringthingspodcast.com. Also out now, we've got our Queering People Saving Throws. It's our main Queering Things team, along with KJ, who you've heard on this episode already, taking a dive into a queer D&D adventure, releasing every other Friday right here on our feed. We will also have a little bonus episode coming to you later this week. Sam, Noah, and I will unpack a little more of French Mistake, get into some of the more nitty gritty stuff before we hop into next episode next week. So you can stay tuned for that. Be sure to ride along with us next week as we explore Season 6, Episode 16. And then there were none through the theme of sadness, which makes me feel no foreboding emotions at all. (laughs) Yeah. I will say this. I'm glad to know that we now know the theme for next week. It was a shame we didn't know the theme for this week. (laughs) Hey, Jamie. Okay, you've just removed yourself from the options who get to say the final lines. So Sarah, Beth, or KJ. Oh, Who would like to say the final lines here? Also, I was thinking you could just get two of them to say part of it and two of them to say the other part of it. At the same you would have eliminated to Jamie from it. Yeah, I don't know. So you also hate Eddie. Do the same thing as the, I'm like, the second read. <laughs> I'm <that> sorry. <laughs> I'm going to let you just actually direct this part. No, that's no, fine, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine. You make a decision. I'm so not. who wants to say the first part? Raise their hand. I'll do it, I guess. Sarah. Okay, <laughs> the so lack of hand did. raising. <laughs> Thank you. I don't, I don't no, want so to funny. be real anxious about it. I don't even know that. You can't even blame me. Like... Officially, right here and now, Sarah and I's beef is in. Okay. Hell thank yeah. God. And so then KJ and Beth both have to say the final line after Sarah says the first part. Like right after? Like you want us to go? Like I need not, to know my cue. Not immediately after and leave a okay. half second pause. All right. Okay. But I'll be okay, able to edit it to make it work no matter what. Fuck you, okay, cool. Noah. Okay. Sorry. Thank you all for coming along for the ride. And, and we, we wish, wish you a, a peaceful <laughs> road until we meet again.